What's happening, Boot Junkies? Mike Dog Audio here, back with another video on... Oh, I dropped my headphones and... Do that again. <laughs> Let's try that again. What's happening, Boot Junkies? Mike Dog Audio here, back with another video on home studio setup for voiceover. And this one is kind of related to, to uh, home studio setup. It's only because there's a, there's a real push towards inexpensive microphones right now. And there's uh, so many shopping sites out there where you can find super cheap stuff. Bluetooth speakers, Bluetooth headphones, fidget spinners, <laughs> all that stuff. Uh, but a lot, of the, uh, a lot of the sites now are unfortunately pushing counterfeits. There was one, I'm pulling out my phone here, there was one that I saw recently on the New York Times and it said that, there, that like this shopping app is worth more than JCPenney and Sears and a few others combined. It's like worth a few billion dollars. And it was this app called wish.com. And so I, I downloaded it and of course I searched for microphones. Are there cheap microphones to be found out there? And there was this, you know, the typical assortment of the really inexpensive ones. But then I saw, as I expected, ones that look like real microphones. Microphones where you, you, you know the brand name and so forth. And that looks mighty familiar, doesn't it? That looks, if you're familiar with the Shure SM58, it's essentially a picture of a Shure SM58 and a Shure SM58 box for $24. $24? No, no. More than likely. Now, naive, if you don't know, you might say, ah, wow, a bargain. Yes. More than likely, it's a counterfeit. Matter of fact, I guarantee you it's a counterfeit. You know why I guarantee you it's a counterfeit? I spent 24 bucks and I bought the piece of garbage. But, to the untrained eye, if you've never held an SM58 in your hand, if you've never experienced this microphone, how would you know if you if it was a counterfeit and not just a really good deal because I'm getting it from China? Stop dinging. So let's try and figure that out. I'd like to show you. I figure if I spend $24, I can stop a thousand people from spending $24 on junk. Junk. So let's take a look at the fake SM58 SM58 that I got shipped to me from California. This didn't come from China. This came from City of Industry, California. Came in a week. Let's go over to the bench and I'll show you all about it. Okay, so let's take a look at what you get in the box, or let's take a look at the box itself. As, as you can see, it looks like it's actually just a direct scan, and it's uh, it's the edge of the box that really reveals uh, the first indications that you've got a counterfeit. Uh, so if you look at the, the two boxes, one, you can see that it's missing uh, a number of the symbols on the right. Um, the logo is wrong. It's, uh, it's missing... Uh, just some of the information that you would typically expect to find, that recycling logo, that C and E, um, a, a number of the logos that you would normally expect to find on a piece of electronic equipment here sold in the uh, United States at least. But to the untrained eye, I tell you what, if you didn't know it, you wouldn't know to, to look for that or to, ex uh, to expect to see it. Looking inside, let's take a look at the uh, the user guides. First is you'll see that there are some staples in the real user guide. It's uh, multiple pieces of paper. Still not printed very well, the real one, but the uh, the fake one appears to be just the technical sheet that they printed out from the Shore website, um, whereas the, uh, the real one does seem to be somewhat bound. Uh, this one, I will say that the specifications don't actually match some of the things that we'll see later in the test, but this does seem to be just a direct printout of the uh, of some prior version of the Shure SM58 technical sheet. But if you didn't know the difference between these, if you didn't know what to expect, you might not be able to tell from looking at these pieces of paper that that wasn't the piece of paper you were supposed to get with the microphone. Unless you knew what an SM58 box actually looked like, you'd actually be hard-pressed to tell uh, what was the real and which was the fake. 
Here's our first telltale. Is The real one says the weight is 0.33 kilograms. The technical sheet from the imitation one says 298 grams. So it's off. I'm not sure when this one was from, 298 grams, uh, but we'll put that to the test here in just a minute. So here it is coming out of the box. This is the this is my real one. This is my SM58. And the thing about a 58, um, if you've never held one before, is they do feel solid. They feel heavy for their size. Now, when I the, I knew the very instant, as soon as I took it out of the box, you knew. Oh my gosh, gosh, we have a counterfeit, because the weight difference between them is just astonishing. This one feels like a toy, whereas the real one feels heavy and substantial. It's uh, actually one of the first things I ever noticed when I first held an SM58 is its weight, its solidity. It's what makes them so tough and so durable. So I went and got a scale. Let's just see what the difference is. The real one weighs in at 326 grams, really close to the 0.33 kilograms that the manual says. Now, the fake one said it was 298, but we'll be able to tell 162 grams. It's essentially half the weight of the real SM58. And that, for me, is the absolute giveaway. But if you didn't know what one was supposed to weigh, you might not be able to tell. There is a slight height difference between them. Uh, the, uh, the baskets are shaped ever so slightly different. Again, this would be hard to tell if you never had held an SM58 in real life. Uh, but now uh, I can point out some things here. So the, the fake one versus the real one, the real grill is sort of a matte finish. It sort of has a glow to it. Whereas the fake one, this particular fake one that I have, its head basket is shiny, sort of a chrome look to it. Uh, and uh, it's uh, oblong, not quite spherical the way the SM58 is. The body has this uh, beveled edge where the two pieces come apart, and the SM58 does have a bevel uh, between where the two body parts meet, whereas the fake actually looks to be tight, more tightly machined. Down at the bottom, the attachment points are a little bit different. The imitation one does have that extra hole where, uh, in the body where the uh, XLR jack attaches. Looking inside the jack itself, a couple of things to notice here. One, on the real one, um, there is this Recycle, Don't Throw Away logo. Uh, it has the, the, the printing of the Shore logo is nice and fine and raised. The, uh, the three pins are labeled, and these pins are, are silver colored. So when you're looking inside, the, the thing to notice is sort of how crisp everything is. Uh, the resolution, as you were, of the, uh, of the, the items that are printed in there, uh, that are embossed in there, they're, they're actually crisp and uh, uh, of, of high quality. That Shore logo, nice and crisp. The edges are nice and crisp. This is uh, what you would expect to find on a real SM58. But if we switch over to the fake SM58, the first thing that we notice right off the bat is that the pins are the wrong color from all my experience. These pins are gold. That is incorrect. The printing on the other side, the, the embossing, it, it appears to be uh, stamped. And you see that the Shore logo and the, uh, the, the, the pin numbers, they're all, the quality just isn't the same. Now, if you had never seen this, would you even think to look at this particular part? You'd be hard pressed. You might not recognize that that wasn't right. It certainly, certainly seems like it could be right. But now having something to compare, you'd be able to look at the underside and say, that doesn't seem right at all. On the edge under the basket, you can also look at the, the quality of printing. The, uh, the fake one, the printing seems blurry. The resolution is not quite there. It's uh, a little bit off. Now, let's take a look under the baskets, really get under the hood of these two microphones, and let's see the difference of the actual capsule. If you didn't know what these capsules were supposed to look like, you might be hard-pressed to tell by the way these look because the, the fake d is modeled to look exactly like the real capsule on a 58. But there are some obvious differences once you know what to look for. The first one is that this, uh, this fake capsule has this caution sticker, this, you know, don't, don't take it off, you'll void the warranty. Uh, my real SM58 does not have that sticker. Now, let's look a little bit more closely at the fake one. 
Uh, the other thing that I notice on this fake one is as we turn it, we can see that there's a couple of solder points there uh, where the, I, guess, I guess the capsule is soldered into some other part of the microphone. The real SM58 does not have that. So I'll spin my real SM58 around and we'll see that that top part uh, under the capsule where that grill is, uh, it, there is no, there's no solder points or anything like that. On the top, looking down at the capsule itself, so far as I could tell, you would not be able to tell the difference between the two. This is the real capsule looking straight down on the capsule. And this is the fake one. Other than a shade of uh, one's gray and one's darker gray, looking at it from this angle, you'd be hard pressed to tell. Now let's take a look under the capsule. The body of the SM58 does come apart at that beveled edge that I pointed out earlier. And as we look inside, we can actually see the bottom of the capsule. And you used to be able to tell a fake but if they used the wrong color wires. They've gotten wise to that now. So you should find, even in the counterfeits, you'll find a green and a yellow wire that are referenced in the, uh, in the manual and in the specification sheet. But as soon as I take this body apart, you'll be able to tell uh, that there's a very significant difference. And this is really where they really, you know, cheap out on it. Here we have... A much smaller capsule, much, a much lower quality of a capsule. You don't see the QA mark on the bottom of the capsule or anything like that. Let me uh, rearrange this and I'll get a close-up of it. So here we're now looking at the underside of the capsule. The one on the right is the real capsule. You can see the quality assurance mark on it. You can see it comes right down to the bottom of the uh, of the uh, of the uh, the opening there. Whereas the, in the fake one, it is well recessed. It's a much smaller. Right, just a real basic, maybe even like the type of microphone you might find in a, I don't know, a cell phone or a, a cheap tape recorder or something like that. It's a, it's a much lower quality, uh, much lower, smaller in size. Looking at that grill that's around just under the capsule, the thing that you can notice about the Shure SM58 is you can actually see through it. If you look through that and shine a light on it, you'll see different colors. You'll actually see different componentry under that grill. And if you look at the body of the microphone itself, you'll see that it's smooth. So the, the part right next to the sticker with my name on it, you'll see that that is nice and smooth. So a couple of things that we'll notice here as we switch over to the, uh, to the fake one is one that we noticed that that grill is really like a piece of metal tape. You can see a glue mark where that's held together. You cannot see through it. It's really just a, a decorative imitation piece. And if you look at the body of the microphone, if you're, uh, if you're zoomed in on the video, if you have it nice and big on the screen, you'll see that there's actually like machining marks on the body of this microphone. You can see, I don't know, I guess they're lathe marks. There's, there's uh, stripes on the, uh, on the body itself where it's just uh, the, the machining of it is much lower quality. But as we look at the capsule, you, you can start to see the uh, really identifiable differences between these two. Looking at the clip, the clip, if you didn't know the difference, you'd be really hard-pressed to tell the differences between the clips. The clip on the real SM58 is heavier, it's more durable, it's a ever so slightly larger, but without having one to reference and without having familiarity with it, you would, you would probably have a difficult time telling the real from the fake. The logos are very similar, the shape is very similar, it's just ever so slightly smaller and lighter weight. But otherwise, it works in just the same way. Now, inside the box, let's also turn our attention to the bag, because this was another dead giveaway. The real SM58 bag, let me pull it out here. The real SM58 bag is a very, I think it's an imitation leather, but it does have a, a certain quality to it, whereas the fake one has a really cheap, flimsy feel to it. It is embossed, but it's significantly smaller. This particular one is significantly smaller does have that Shure logo embossed in it. Very similar in size and shape. Again, if you didn't know, you might not be able to tell, but if you've seen a few SM58s in there in the in the wild, you know that that's not what the bag looks like. This is the real bag, nice and soft inside. Uh, just a higher quality, higher quality material, of course. So I don't know why I'm even bothering, but let's do a sound test just so you can hear uh, what the counterfeit sounds like. I've got my waveform right down here. So right now you're listening to the real SM58, and I see that I have 
I have no waveform. I have no waveform on the uh, on the other one. This has been. This, I've tried this a couple of times. Can you? Do I have signal now? Okay, it looks like I have some signal now. The jack is essentially broken. It just doesn't work. So it's been staticky. It's been terrible. I see some waveform now. Uh, hopefully that's. Uh, hopefully I'm getting something. Uh, that's usable. It's probably going to be pretty quiet. My experience is uh, that so far it's been either incredibly staticky or it's just gone altogether. <laughs> Why even bother? This thing, here's the best thing that you can do with this thing. 